Everyone loves a reunion. You've heard me say this on this channel so many times, but you can't go wrong with a great reunion. But sometimes wanting a reunion is asking you to go on a road trip with your ex-wife. You've heard me say that before. It was Rick Emmett who first told me. Rick Emmett of Triumph, but I mean, he's been with the same lady since high school. But the point is taken. You can't always have a reunion. Mark Farner is one of the biggest Beatles fans I've ever talked to. In fact, his band Grand Funk outsold Shea Stadium faster than the Beatles. And as Mark is hoping to have one last kick of the can with his old band, even though he's touring as a solo artist, he wants to get back together with Don Brewer, the drummer, and Mel Shacker, the, the bass player, to have one more final Grand Funk tour. But they don't seem too open to it. They are two-thirds of the Grand Funk Corporation. Now, the point of this video, I digress, is he's a big Beatles fan, but there's one thing that really disappointed him with that band, and you won't be surprised by what comes next. And I could never figure why they wouldn't get back together for the sake of the fans. Why they couldn't just bury the hatchet. Why they were all still sucking air. I wanted to see them. And maybe it was selfish on my part, Brother John. But I could, I said, damn, just do it for us, man. So when it comes to people, when they ask me, you know, you think Grand Funk will ever get back together? I just, you know, I have been trying for 24 years, uh, but it's not up to me because those other two guys are two thirds of the corporation that controls that trademark. And uh, even though it's been uh, kind of hard sometimes, difficult, I still pray for him because uh, that's the only thing that's going to get. It's not uh, saying bad things about him because, I mean, uh, the fans have said enough bad things. I don't have to say bad things about it. But uh, any bands that don't have the original players, but uh, but they still use the original uh you know, title of the band. Foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and I don't see why the, why don't we have some kind of a, a website that, that gives a star rating. And, and if you see the name of that band, go to this website and check out who's still in the band. Why isn't there an informative? Why isn't there somebody are you seeing the band? Are you actually seeing the band? Yeah. 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 That tells the truth about what you're going to go see. Who's left? Who is it? And who's presenting it? And who's behind this pre presentation? And where, if if there's any information available, where are the original members now? Then people could make an informed decision on whether they're going to go see this band or not, or... Maybe they, you know, maybe they go see just because they like the music, no matter who's playing it. They, a lot of these uh, bands that are, uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, tribute bands. Tribute bands, yeah. They, they have great audiences because, man, the people love the music, dude. That's it. So it wouldn't hurt, though, to have a little truth available. See, Wiki has that, but you've got to click too many things to figure it out. I mean, you're doing math, you're looking at dates, you're having to re look at albums, your favorite album, then you go back to who's in the band now. That's just too much clicking. Yeah. You can't do that. No. He also asked one last one. Uh, this guy had, he says, he says, Mark had just the most wonderful guitars. He says he chose this uh, army look. He said, there was one that you had that was dark green that, uh, do you remember that one? Yeah. You see that messenger back there? That's her. That's that is the messenger, and we call her the messenger. It, uh, I forget the name of the company, but uh, Music Craft. That's it, Music Craft Messenger. And in the bottom, below the knobs, there, there is the the last switch is my fuzz tone, Jimi Hendrix. I would reach back. I could be all the way across the stage from my position where my foot pedal was. And I had my double coil cord that had the cannon plugs hooking it together. And I could reach down and hit that fuzz tone 
and and I could play my lead right there. And I didn't have to go back and stop on a box. It was in the guitar. And that was a beautiful thing for that 20 year old kid that liked to run around that stage and didn't like to be in one spot for very long. You know, when I was younger and I was getting into your music, I was like about, I think, 14. And I remember there was a, a girl who lived a few blocks away and I was trying to you know, educate her and stuff like that. And she looked at me and went, yeah, yeah, that's the blonde hunk guys shirtless and can play like nobody's business. Hello. I know who that is. Mark Farner. Hello. I'll never forget that. <laughs> so she gave you credit for looking good but she also awesome. gave you cred for being good awesome remember make sure you subscribe to our channel join our patreon get early access to our videos you can make a donation to the channel there's a link in the very top of the description buy a t-shirt spread the word i'm john Bowden from rocky street music